Hello everyone and welcome to the very first experimental Rustcast episode. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create very simple Hello World project in Rust. First thing you need to have is Rust compiler and if you don't have it please go to rustup.rs and execute this command to install Rustup. With Rustup you can install Rust. So I'm gonna create hello.rs file rs is a file extension for rust source code files and uh, we're gonna implement uh, main function so fn is a keyword for function declaration and main is an entry point of any rust program it's just like in c or c plus plus so let's print hello world Uh, you may notice that we use this bank character. It indicates that print element is not actually a function but a macros. So there's something more than just function call happens behind this line. Now let's compile it. I'm gonna open a terminal window in my Wim. And uh, here I execute Rust-C. So it consumes source code and uh, builds binary file that we can execute and just works as expected. Well, so far so good, but you're not gonna use Rust-C in your daily life a lot. You probably will use Cargo. Cargo is a very important tool in Rust ecosystem, probably the most important after Rust compiler itself. And it's a handy tool that allows to build projects, to check syntax, to generate documentation, to test your project, to whatever, update, publish your libraries, install libraries from others or install binaries and so on. And uh, yeah, let's create, let's remove what we have and create a new project with cargo. So I type cargo new and give a name to project hello. I got a hello directory here and it created some files for me. So first you may notice uh, that actually it created git branch and put the following files into it. Uh, now let's take a look. Cargo has meta information about our program or package and it has name, version, uh, author, so it probably took information from my git config. Here we can declare dependencies. It has also some other sections. You can specify compiler options or some other stuff like tag words so people can easily find your crate at crates.io crates.io is a registry where from where you can install libraries crates actually and let's take a look at uh, main file so it's our entry point and just looks exactly the same as our main functions that we implemented on our own now let's compile it Let's build it. Again, I open terminal. And to compile, I run cargo build. So it creates some files for me. And uh, yeah, you see that it created target folder with the bug folder inside and in the bug folder we have hello binary we can execute it when we compile with just build command it compiles in debug mode by default if we want to prepare a release or comp compile for production then you'd like to provide a release option this will use a uh, number of compiler optimizations uh, 
and it's basically very similar to to what we had with the bug. It just created a release folder and we can access hello binary there. Ooh. So I'm gonna run release binary. Works just the same. Uh, you can also run another command cargo run. It actually compiles and executes binary, so it's much handier. It's just to test your program. Now, if you're gonna change file, let's see. Works, ex works just as expected. So that's it. I guess it wasn't really helpful or useful for you, but I hope at least you enjoyed and if you did, we'll see each other next time.